guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be playing with the Naked Wild West. Now, before I get into it, I'm going to talk about a little bit of a story about the journey that was getting this. So I ordered it originally from Urban Decay because I just kind of wanted to show them the love that they deserve because Urban Decay is a great company. Um, never had any issues with them in the past and I wouldn't blame, I'm not blaming any of this on Urban Decay. And I know that our um, shipping services have been quite um, jam-packed and, jam and overloaded. So I ordered two pallets. So I ordered two pallets from Urban Decay, okay? And then they got lost in the mail. And so then I was like, okay, you know, whatever. I'll just order it from Ulta and just kind of get some things that I need here and there. And, you know, just kind of scrap that. I was going to do a giveaway. Everything was great. And then this one came. And then these two showed up. So now I have three Urban Decay Naked Wild West palettes. And stay tuned in this video because there will be a giveaway at the end for two palettes. Please stay tuned. There will be information of how you can do that and a secret of how to get a extra entry. So um, that will not be in the description. So please stay tuned at the end of the video to know that secret. <laughs> so today we are going to be playing with Naked Wild West. I have opened one of them, two of them are unopened. This one is the one I'm going to be playing with. And here is what it looks like. We've all kind of basically seen it and kind of gone over the, uh, we've all kind of basically seen it. So um, it's late because it took a while for them to get here to me and, but I figured, you know, we could all use a little love. And so I decided to do the giveaway anyways and just go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime with, um, let's just stick with Urban Decay. Let's do Urban Decay Primer Potion and we will prime with that. I need to make sure that I have, I guess I could just use the palette as a close-up mirror if I need to. So I'm just gonna prime with this. Always prime, we never know. You never know how any product is going to perform. So you can just start with a base that you know is tried and true do that. I don't have any other face makeup on. I just have my skincare on right now. And then we will go in because I have a look that I want to try. Um, that I do have an inspo picture for. And I will push, push, put that up on the screen here. So I'm going to try to recreate that. I do not know if it was used with the Wild West palette. I will look right now. So I haven't looked at that photo in a while. And if it is cool, it does not say anywhere in here mentioning Urban Decay. It says Nabla, Nabla Cosmetics, Anastasia. Um, so, but it is something I want to recreate. It's not exactly the right colors, but it's something that's kind of inspirational of. But I've never done anything like this. So I have my liners here that I want to play with. I have three, but two are probably the ones I'm going to need to use. So I'm going to use this one from NYX and it is the um, Turquoise Storm Eyeliner from NYX. And I'm just going to try and like make like a precise crease here. And I have kind of already. So I'm going to close my eyes and like really relax my face and just do like relaxed face. So the reason I'm using a liner first is because like I can wipe this off really easy and shadow is like very unruly. You never know how it's going to perform. So we are just doing that. <laughs> All right, so I have both of them done. I'm going to take a Q-tips, cotton buds, things we you got, 
and I'm going to use like a setting spray or something. This is a e.l.f. Um, primer mist. Uh, I don't really like it for my face because it comes out too quick, so I just use it for stuff like this, for wetting, wetting eyeshadow brushes and stuff like that. So I'm going to just get my cotton round, cotton thingamajigger, and just kind of go over the edges just lightly of places that I feel like might need just a little bit of extra help. All right, so I've cleaned up just a little bit. This one, once again, those two sides of your face are not symmetrical. So like this one looks different than this one and I'm not going to really fuss with it because I will be here all day if I do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take, I'm gonna try to use this brush a little bit along with another more precise brush. I have a angled liner brush that I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna go in with the color Tex and just go over that a little bit just to kind of set the liner a bit. And make it not budge. It might, it's gonna darken it quite a bit because that color is darker. But I'm gonna go over it with the shimmer. What's the color? Bud. But then, then I can do the, I'm gonna clean off my brush and then just lightly tap in and lick that out. So, so there is that. I'm gonna go in on the other side. So there are our, let me zoom in just a bit so you can actually see. So there's like our grease cuts. They look kind of funny. So I'm gonna go in with Bud and kind of go over it a little bit on the inner corner just to kind of lighten it and add some. So I did say, <laughs> I don't know how much in frame I was actually in because I'm like hunched down trying to make this as precise as I can and this is something new. I've said in the past that I want to do things that are more new, a little bit more out of my comfort zone and I would say I'm pretty much accomplishing that today. So, so I'm going to go in with this shade right here and it's the nudie shade and just kind of go over into the like outer corner just to kind of set that up for other shadow. And I'm gonna kind of pull this all the way through the whole lid. Trying not to disturb our cut crease that we have created. I'm pretty excited about this. So if you're watching this whole video, I'm going to be asked, I'm gonna be putting like some little Easter eggs in here and there's gonna be a fun question at the end of this video. Kind of a questionnaire, that's one way to enter this video. I just kinda wanna see people that are paying attention, that deserve the makeup. Do you see what I'm saying? We really need people that are like passionate and trying to like really explore, but they don't really have the finances right now. So let's try to help those people out and give them some makeup. So, obviously if you're here for those reasons, you're here for the right ones. And if you're here for the fun, then here for the fun, Isabel. You can, it's so interesting how different they look, but I kind of like this one better. But you know, it's a learning curve and I'm just going to leave it like that. I've never done anything like this because I didn't think my eyes could do it. But you know what? I can do whatever I want, when I want, and how I want. Because I am powerful. So, if you don't have this palette, obviously you wouldn't have this one as your favorite. But thus far, what is your most favorite naked palette? Um, I go back and forth between, between like Cherry, um, Heat, and maybe Naked 3. I just kind of like those tones. Uh, this one, I like it because it is very, it's very much in the naked kind of family. Like, it fits more of that. Um, anyways, there was one that was kind of like, that's not very much of a naked, that's like not very naked if you're trying to go for that. Alright, so there is that. 
All right, okay. And I'm just gonna kind of go off this shade right here, Bud, is like probably my most favorite shade in this palette. It just really stands out. Oh, Naked um, Ultraviolet. That's not like essentially naked, like, you know, neutral, but you know, they can put whatever they want in their line. It's their line, so we can't really blame them for that. So I'm gonna go in with the color um, Whiskey and darken up the outer corner with this and I'm taking the brush that it came with and I'm taking the smaller end and kind of um, booking this up against that liner the color whiskey I'm patting it through and then I'll go in with the other side and blend it out so there is whiskey I really just need to not be zoomed so much in just constantly being out of frame you know because I'm a professional at filming <laughs> so I am just gonna take the brush light-handedly and blend this color all right then I'm gonna take the color rustler I'm not really sure how to say that, so I'm just going to try my best. That's all we can do. And take this and overlap that shade in the center. This is going to be a while. Um, this is going to be a wild ride on this look, because I've never done anything like this, and I'm kind of not... Well, this shade, Rustler, has quite a bit of fallout, and it is homage to the brush that I am using, so I'm not going to blame it too much. So I'm going to switch to a different brush and pack some color on here, and then now I'm going to take Hold'em and put that on the inner part of the lid, not so much on the inner corner, but this is a more of a flakier shade. So I'm going to kind of pack some of my brush and then pull it. All right, so I'm going to try to wet my brush and use Hold'em wet to see what we get. And pick some up. That's pretty good. Let's do the other side. It can be more metallic when it's wet. Pretty beautiful. And then I'm gonna take Cowboy Rick and I'm gonna dust that same brush off and take it, it's still gonna be a bit damp, and put this right here on the inner corner. All right, now what I'm gonna do one last thing, clean up the brow with Standoff. And just kind of lighten the brow bone a bit. We still want to have a little bit of that. All right, so I'm going to put that picture up again and you can tell me how close I got. Now, we don't have any concealer or foundation, so we're going to do that. And then there is a bit of fallout of he over here with that rust off, rusto. Rust, rustler rustler shade but that was because I used a really fluffy brush to apply it so I think that's more user error than product so I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of concealer and my foundation and I'm gonna use my flower beauty foundation concealer and my physician formula foundation and then I'm trying to use up and I need to do an update about that this month because I'm not doing a very good job of that <laughs> um Project pans are kind of hard for me because I don't wear makeup every single day of my life. And so that's the situation I'm working with. So I'm going to go ahead and apply concealer and foundation. I will be right back. All right, so I have finished my face with my foundation and concealer and powder. <laughs> and I'm going to go in with this palette again. 
obviously Naked Wild West. And I'm going to take Ghost Town and blend that on the lower lash line. And just try to connect it to the top as best as we can. Which always seems to be pretty easy for me. Except for for some reason I can't do a wing liner to save my life. I can. I really just have to like... No one talk to me for five minutes and I'll do it. <laughs> They're just not easy with some eye shapes. And you can do it. It's just a matter of patience. All right, Tarte Big Eagle Mascara. And for my blush, I'm going to take the Balm Down Boy blush. Just take a little bit of this. Oh, I have Urban Decay blush I could have used. But it's not like we're doing a full face of Urban Decay. All right, so I'm going to take my Stila Stay All Day Bronzer and bronze up the face with a Dua Fiber Brush. And then for highlighter, let's do... Actually, I'm going to take an eyeshadow to do highlighter with, and it is from the um, CoverGirl um, Shimmering Sands, and I'm going to take the pink shade and just take it on a highlighter brush and dip that. It's a really nice highlighter, but subtle. For my lips, I'm taking the Bite. Um, and this is in glaze. This is the stick lipstick tingly thing of a digger. I am malfunctioning. And I like this because it's like a darker version of my own lip color. You know? My lips but darker. <laughs> my lips but darker. Alright, so without further ado, here are the rules to the giveaway. One, you have to be subscribed to me. This is a giveaway, so if you want to win, please subscribe to me to share the love. And um, the next one, I did say two things in the video. One, what was your most favorite naked eyeshadow palette? If it's this one, awesome. If you like blues, great. Um, if it's another one, I want to know. That's really cool. And then one, what was my most favorite color from this palette? Like what color has really stood out to me? So if you watch the video, you would know that. If um, also um, my, one of the surprise entries is please share this video with somebody who you think would really enjoy this palette, who you think really deserves it. Maybe it's your friend that's been struggling been, but likes makeup and hasn't been able to pick anything up lately. Um, anything like that who really um, deserves it. So share the love with people that you love. And the video, the announcement will be um, announced on March 26th, which is about two weeks away. So you have a little bit of time to enter. Um, if you have to, whatever, five, figure something out. So you have some time to share the love with other people and more people can enter, you know? People just don't get to watch YouTube videos every day. Maybe they'll find it and be so excited about it. So, um, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for entering this video, this giveaway. And stay tuned for further videos because I'm going to do some comparisons with these palettes and this one because they're both Urban Decay, but they have some similarities. Um, one of them you can't get, them any, get anymore, but you may already have it and may not need this palette. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and enter this giveaway. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Good luck to you all. Bye.